Welcome to Zoological World today we are discuss about false widow spider with a similar dark, globular body for identification. The false widow spider is often mistaken for the black widow. While mistaken for lookalikes, they are two different spiders. Science traces the false widow's origins to the Canary Islands and Madeira. It's believed the creature stowed away on transatlantic trips. That's why today, the false widows found all over North Africa, Europe, West Asia and in parts of South and North America. False widow spider facts though often mistaken for the deadly black widow spider, the false widow is harmless. While the previous fact is backed by science, a new Science Daily report claims not only are the insects bites on the rise but the severity can require hospitalization. Still, there is no record showing the false spider can kill. For the layman, identifying spiders isn't easy. Most actions attributed to the false widow are actually caused by completely different species. The growing frequency of bites is likely because of the species spreading and growing, especially in the UK. A large portion of bites from this insect seems to take place as the victim sleeps in their home. False widow spider. Species, types, and scientific name species The false widow spider is a member of a species in the genus Statoda. Types the most common taxonomy in the group is the rabbit hutch, the cupboard, and the noble false widow and the false widow. But there happen to be six species in total. Appearance. How to identify the false widow spider The false widow's body is a glossy chocolate brown. It's not unusual for the spider to be reddish brown. The creature lacks the red hourglass marking and instead has unique cream markings. The false widow shares the black widow's rounded, bulbous abdomen. The false widow is also noticeably smaller than the mature western black widow. The female spider has an average length between 0.27 and 0.59 inches. The males are typically in the vicinity of 0.16 to 0.27 inches in length. In general, the spiders weigh around 0.03 ounces. How to get rid of the false widow spider While there is an argument to the benefits of having false widow spiders, some people just don't want the critters around. We can certainly understand why you don't want these spiders on your business premises. So, those non-fans of arachnids, and there are many, may want to manage the false widow invasion. Here are a few ways to take care of the situation. Put lavender, plant mint or both, near or underneath your windows. Spiders really don't appreciate the odor. The taxonomy also implies spiders don't like citrus. Rub peel from limes or lemons on the windowsills and skirt boards, or apply lemon-scented polishes and cleansers to the same surfaces. Other scents rumored to keep false widow spiders out are eucalyptus, peppermint and tea tree oil. Vinegar is supposedly the spider killer. The acidity burns the spider on contact. Do this with a concoction equal parts water and vinegar. Spray it directly on the spider and should you come across a sack, spray all sides of it liberally. Spiders rely on webs for shelter and food. Removing them is a strong defense to warding them off. Get the corners and areas beneath furnishings as spiders like to hide. Target egg sacks carefully. Once done, discard the debris in the vacuum canister. Insecticide treatments come in liquid and dusting options. Use dusts where they won't get disturbed by humans or pets, like in the crawl spaces and basements. Liquid treatments are best for others, such as where the arachnids keep their webs. Insecticides should kill present spiders and increases the prevention of new ones. Oil-based solutions are good for targeting egg sacs. Pyrethrin's a good option. It kills spiders and prevents others from getting into your attic, home or garage. By reducing food sources, you naturally reduce the likelihood of spiders. So, if you have flies, grasshoppers, earwigs, moths or other pests, putting out traps for them is a good idea. This is especially true if you have these creatures in your exterior perimeters.